Uh, we're here in Listerfield. Um, we're getting near um, completion on this home, so we thought we'd come out and have a quick look. Uh, landscaping is well underway and reaching its final stages. You can see the plants starting to go in, but behind me is the hero. It's the house. Uh, and as you can see, it's in that Georgian style. We've got the beautiful split bricks. Um, we've got the trims around the windows. We've got the upper floor rendered with the, the cuts between the, like the block work. Uh, we've got the parapet wall around this um, feature in the front. And then we've got this little portico on the front here, which is all very formal, sort of giving you a little bit of a glimpse as to what you can expect when you walk inside. So yeah, let's go in and have a look. Step inside and it's, uh, I can see lots of things in front of me, but I'll start here. Um, we've got the study off to the left here. Um, coming through this here, we've got the master bedroom with its own ensuite and walk-in robe, which is it's pretty typical. But when we come through this arch here, this is where you start to get really floored. And we've got this humongous staircase. I love the size of these posts. I love how it draws your eye straight up into this area. We can see the balustrade wrapping around. We've got the glass um, pendant hanging down. It's, you know, there's lots of questions in your head telling you what is going on up there. I wanna go up there, but I am going to resist and stick to the ground floor for now. Um, but yeah, definitely a, a showstopper right there. Um, and right opposite the stairs is this um, theatre room. So come on in and have a look because this um, has a special feature here as well. So we've actually built a false wall here, which will hide all of the speakers. Uh, and then in front of the speakers will actually be a a perforated screen for a projector. So the sound is going to be thumping through that um, screen right to the maybe unlucky people who are sitting there in front of that, copying all of that sound. Um, yeah, so hopefully I get an invite to uh, a movie night. We've got this huge rumpus room here, which overlooks uh, the pool. And then one of my favorite features in the house, um, anyone who knows me, I love my wine. Um, is this wine room. And we've got these glass doors here which open up and take a look inside there. We've got room there to display wine, we've got room there to store wine, we've got room for drinks. So um, when I get the invite to the pictures, we can have a drink. Uh, and then we come to this area here, and we, again, like it's jaw dropping, we've got this amazing marble um, island bench, this is actual marble, it's not a, a man-made product. Again, we've got lots of chunk um, and, and um, size to the island, lots of overhangs even to the sides. Um, so we're sort of keeping that chunky theme as we work our way through the home. We've got the herringbone floor. If you look down the hallway, you can see that herringbone just wander off the distance. And then this area here, the massive fireplace, and then this opens out onto the alfresco. So we're not far off handing over this, this home, but we've got the outdoor kitchen with a barbecue. We've got a, a wood fire, so you can be toasty warm out here. We also have heat strips, just in case you don't want to turn the fire on. Uh, and we've got this mega cool um, light, which goes, it's actually recessed into the ceiling. So actually two sheets of plasterboard in this ceiling and this um, light just goes right around the whole of this veranda and then this overlooks the pool and as you can see behind me the landscaping is in progress and if you follow this around to the corner we've got a, a gym um, so yeah after drinking all that wine and maybe indulging a little you'll have to go and work out so I may not leave here because, you know, movies, pool, gym, wine room, I'll just stay. Um, coming back inside, through this part of the kitchen, we've got a butler's pantry, which is, I guess, uh, almost uh, a standard thing these days. We've got a, a larder, which will store all of the, the dry ingredients. And then we come through to the laundry. Like everything else in this home, um, we've got these humongous washing machines. I feel like I've walked into the laundry mat. Um, I'm assuming one may be a dryer. 
Uh, we've got a laundry chute coming into here from upstairs and then we come through to the mud rooms. You've got this uh, spot here to sit down, kick your boots off and then decide on which part of the house you're going to go to next. Let's go and take a look upstairs. Well, when you come up here, it's, yeah, it's still a feast on the eyes. We've got plenty of room. Uh, obviously the balustrade here is still one of the key focal points of the home. Uh, and then we've got this little library area here. So you can just imagine a couple of um, seats, your favorite book, you want somewhere to quiet and read. Here's your spot. And then through here, we've got a bit of a breakout room for upstairs. So this will um, you know, eventually have uh, TV and some sort of um, casual sort of seating. So off to this um, end, we've got a guest room with its own bathroom. So that's probably gonna be where I'm staying. Uh, and then we have five other bedrooms up here, or four other bedrooms up here, each with their own um, ensuite, walk-in robe, and they have their own little study area. So each one of the bedrooms, so not one of them misses out, they've got a, a desk, um, somewhere to display things and um, some, some cupboard storage. And then we go into walk-in robes, mountains of storage with drawers everywhere. And then each one of them has a, an ensuite. Definitely a home of luxury. So that's a wrap for this home. I'm sure you'll agree, it's absolutely amazing. The level of finish is beyond what you would expect to see in most homes. In fact, it's probably an award-winning home that I'm standing here in the future. Um, so I'm sure the owners who are going to move in here are going to love it just as much as we love it. And I'm sure they'll be here for a very long time because who would want to leave this place? I'm going to struggle leaving here myself. See you next time.